My name is Paige Anai. I'm the owner of Cozy Bear Child Care Home. And my name is May Anai. I'm Paige's sister. I'm the assistant at Cozy Bear Child Care Home. We came in 2007 from Iraq, and the reason was the war. Both of us were working to different company. I was working for American Embassy, and at that time it was considered one of the most dangerous things because we are working with the enemy. I worked for the Australian Embassy and uh, working helping the collision forces and uh, we came, uh, I came with my mother uh, with the help of my sister. The, as she mentioned, uh, she was working for the American Embassy and uh, they helped us and we ended, we ended here. here. I have a lot of passion towards kids and my sister may help me a lot. She said, you can fulfill that passion by establishing this new business. She's, she is a coordinator and she helped a lot of women in establishing a new business. So I said, okay, this is my chance to do it. The first thing we welcome the kids in the morning. Uh, this is the important thing, uh, telling them that uh, uh, you are welcome and we play a lot of music, hello, how are you? And uh, we let them have like a free time for playing, preparing like a breakfast and then we have a free time to play again after that and we read a lot of books, uh, playing outside in backyard. Every day we see the kids through the window, they are so happy they want to come and uh, when they leave, it's very hard for the parents to take their kids. They are, I said, they said, what's wrong? You don't want to go, go home? home. <laughs> so yeah, we built a good like uh, relation with the kids and with the parents. It was only two kids at the beginning. It was so hard because I see them crying and I was crying with them. Boy, they, they were infant. And the first day I said, as well as I need help. So May came and she said, oh, you have a lot, two kids on my two shoulders. I don't know how to deal with them. It was a little bit harder for me. And after that, no, I'm, I'm professional <laughs> and taking care. But at the beginning, it was hard for me. And also as any small business, it's hard to find the clients. So we were very limited in, uh, in the numbers of the clients. Of course, we deal with that with patients. We worked for only four, for a long time, four clients. But we believe in our projects, so we keep it until we are now almost, almost full. full. We are scared about something we don't know, it, which is the, the disease. And we don't know how to deal with, that, with, the, with the disease in general. So at the beginning, like last year, we closed, we shut down when, and because we found the panic through the parents and they apologized that they will take the kids uh, from the business. And of course that affected us uh, financially and also emotionally because we are dealing with them. But we understand this is something new for all of us. So of course we were out of the business for almost uh, Three, three months, months yeah. so no income it's affected us as I told you financially I would like you know always when they mention Cozy Bear they they want it like they feel this is the right place to bring their kids especially we are between like uh, uh, two cultures uh, yeah I mean uh, we are you know uh, coming from different culture so we like to also trying to teach them our native language which is Arabic and now some of them they understand a few words and uh, <laughs> they love it and uh, of, of course like that will make them uh, the kids in the future open-minded for for different, different cultures yeah. for different uh, communities uh, uh, more like uh, open and they can understand uh, that uh, people like all over the world are the same like we are no difference between race or religion or everything so. all I want to say is to thank St. Vincent's because they put us in 
since the beginning when we came to America they provide us with everything they make it our mission easy they put us on the right places they help us to get all the documents the right documents they help us to find the house and through there we learn that we can buy a house then this house is uh, we are the owners of our house so it comes slowly but they teach us and they give us a, a lot of information. Without St. Vincent, they were responsible for us. They sponsor us to come here. Without them, it was really like impossible to be in the United States and found this uh, home. This is our new home. This is where we feel, where are you now? I'm at home. And my business is also my home, you know. So thanks for everybody for letting us give us the opportunity to have a new life and the new life is in the United States.